Hey, this is Dal Too Fast here, and recently I picked up two gaming chairs at a yard sale. Uh, I picked up two of these for $30. It was a great deal, and uh, it comes with some pretty good features. It has uh, two full range speakers up top with uh, blue LED illuminated. Also has a um, it has a built-in subwoofer on a seat back here. It has its own enclosure inside. I think it's like a six-inch uh, subwoofer inside. And also on the side, uh, you have different controls. You can select a different source, uh, volume uh, control, bass control. And this one you're looking at here uh, works uh, great, uh, no problems. And let me quickly show you. Uh, I just hooked up my cell phone here with uh, an Angry Bird uh, video. I'll just give you an idea. I'm not sure if you can hear much of the bass, but it is coming through on the seat back here. So that gives you an idea of what um, this sounds like. Now, on the second um, chair, when I hooked it up, I brought it home, I hooked it up, I noticed that the top speakers uh, worked really good, um, sound, sounds were coming out, but the uh, subwoofer uh, didn't have any uh, uh, sound coming out of it. So I decided to take it apart, but what I found out is that this uh, chair really was not meant to be uh, serviced uh, easily, because what they did was that on the back side, of this chair it was all stapled. They actually stapled. There must have been just this edge alone probably I took off 20-30 staples um, and after removing the staples on one side of uh, the seat I was able to locate the subwoofer. So this is the uh, seat back and that is the bottom of the seat. This whole thing here is a uh, subwoofer enclosure. You can see the uh, subwoofer inside. Okay. All the sound comes from this circuit board here. And this circuit board was actually inside, inside this enclosure here. And it was really uh, difficult to get it out because uh, the manufacturer that made this uh, want to make sure that nothing comes loose and by uh, designing it that way they actually glued they use hot glue and glued everything I mean the uh, the whole uh, cover plate for the circuit board uh, all the wires everything was a mess I actually ended up using a small little torch just to give it a nice quick uh, heat and then uh, remove the uh, cover plate and inside the cover plate uh, you have the the amplifier chip that you see here so that that is a four channel uh, amplifier chip it powers up the uh, two full range speakers on the top and also powers up the um, subwoofer in this enclosure so I did some testing on this uh, and I found out that there is power going to this IC um, everything else looks good I tested I removed the um, speaker connection just to make sure the subwoofer wasn't blown so I was getting uh, yeah it was a 4 ohm uh, measurement on this so the speaker is good for the subwoofer so I did order a replacement actually I got two of these and I'm gonna attempt to replace it and hopefully that will fix it I'll take out the screws for the heat sink Also the screws, the screw for the uh, amplifier IC. There's also some hot glue here, so let's desolder the IC and get that out first. 
feed some solder onto the existing pads on these. It doesn't have to be pretty. There we go. Came out nice and clean. Here's the old uh, IC. So here's the new one. Fits right in. Putting a little solder on one of the pins so it doesn't move around. We'll start soldering the rest of the pins. Going down pin by pin, feeding just enough, but not too much. Check it over, make sure there are no shorts. I'm just going to kind of put a dab of uh, thermal compound on this. You don't need too much. Just a little bit. I've put everything back together now and let's turn the music back on. And it's working now. Get the uh, compressor out and get my staple gun and put this cover back on Smile not, Mater is the smartest, most honest chap.